Today, I thought we'd play a game. I picked out a few things that they say about West Highland White Terriers and I'm going to tell you if they're true or false. Do you want to play a game? Before I got Sammy, I obsessed about the Westie breed for a while and I read everything I could so I'd know what to expect. And also, I wanted to make sure that it's the right choice for my first dog, you know? So today, four years later, I thought I'd talk about the things you most hear about the Westie breed and see how many of them are true. Okay, so let's get started. Westies are good with children. True. Ever since he was a puppy, Sami was great with children. He loves it when children come up to him on the street and pet him and talk to him. He enjoys to play with them for a while, but then he gets bored pretty quick and wants his space. We don't have any kids of our own, but we once had our two-year-old godson staying with us for a few weeks and Sami and him got along great. Of course, you should never let kids pull on your dog's hair or tail or, you know, kick them or stress them in any other way. Sami had situations when a kid kicked him or slapped him and he was never aggressive. He just walked away trying to hide. But every dog reacts differently, so you should always pay attention and never let a dog and a child alone unsupervised. But under normal circumstances, I'd say that Westies make great family dogs and they thrive when they're among their people. Westies are intelligent dogs. Hmm, true. Okay, maybe they're not as intelligent as a Border Collie or whatever breed is the most intelligent dog in the world. Okay, so they're not, if you leave a steak on the kitchen counter, a Westie is probably not gonna start pushing the chairs and climb up and steal the steak. Okay, so they're not at that level of intelligence, um, which is a good thing because I don't think you want a dog that is that intelligent because then it's super uh, difficult to handle. But they are fast learners and they pay really close attention. So that means that you can teach them a lot of good stuff like good behaviors, um, but they also learn quite fast the bad behaviors if you're not careful. So they really enjoy learning and they're eager to please their owners as long as you make it worth their while. Westies are hypoallergenic. Okay, so I haven't been able to verify that, so I can't say for sure if it's true or false. But what I can tell you is that Westies tend to shed very little, especially if you groom them regularly, like once a month, once a month and a half, and if you brush their coat every few days. So while no dog is 100% hypoallergenic, the best dog breeds for humans with allergies are the ones that shed the least. Um, because what actually causes the allergy is the dander from the falling hair. So Westies are definitely a breed that shed very little um, and I can tell you that because I tend to wear a lot of black clothes and you can very rarely spot any white hairs on my clothes. Westies are lap dogs. I'm gonna say false. Westies are notoriously independent, okay? So they like to keep busy and have their own space. Of course, there are always exceptions and I actually know a Westie who's a lap dog. He loves staying um, on his mom's lap whenever we meet and talk and he can sit there for hours and he just really loves it. But most Westies that I know are not like that and Sami is definitely not like that. Um, if you've been watching my videos, you see that I start and I end every video with Sami on my lap. Um, and I just want to say that doesn't come natural to him at all. So I usually have to film for a few seconds, like 10, 20 seconds, and then I stop because he wants to be put down. So I put him down and I let him do his thing for a few minutes and then I pick him right back up and I film again. It's not something that he enjoys. He's not comfortable sitting in my lap. Um, and it's just something that we do because, you know, it's nice for the video. But as you can see, as I'm sitting here uh, talking to you now, Sami is sitting next to me because he needs to have his space. Westies are good with other pets. 
true. If properly introduced, Westies should get along just fine with other pets. We don't have any other pets yet, but I have friends who have a Westie and another dog or another cat or both, and they get along well enough. A friend of mine told me that it took her Westie a few weeks to accept her other Shih Tzu dog and her cat um, because in the beginning she would fight the other dog and chase the cat. Um, but in the end they got along fine and they lived together for many many years now. From what people say, Westies can become good friends with their sibling pets but they stay independent and don't get overly attached. Their loyalty always lies with their human. Let me know in comments if you agree with this. Westies are hyperactive dogs. False. I'd say Westies are moderate energy and while they do enjoy a long hike or a good playtime session and zoomies, they definitely spend a good part of the day sleeping. As you can see. Westies are not the couch potato type of dog and they are anything but lazy dogs, but they adjust pretty well to your lifestyle. We have days when we travel and Sami comes with us everywhere, sometimes on multiple hour walks through the city we're visiting and he enjoys that. But I also have a lot of days when I'm at home working and I take Sami out for 15 to 30 minute walks twice a day and that's it. So as a breed, Westies are definitely not hyperactive and they can adapt to both an active lifestyle as well as a more calm one. Westies bark a lot. I'm gonna say true, but also they don't have to. As a breed, Westies were created for hunting vermin and they would often wander off on their own, digging tunnels to catch the prey and they would sometimes get stuck in there so they would have to bark loudly to alert their human to come help. So that's why they have such a sharp, loud bark and they are tempted to use it whenever they think something's wrong. But you can definitely work on that and train them to express themselves in a more quiet way. Sami doesn't bark in the house because I spent a lot of time training him to not react when the doorbell rings or when he hears another dog barking. So you can definitely have a Westie that doesn't bark, it just takes some time and energy to train them. Westies are friendly. Definitely true. Westies are cheerful dogs and many of them enjoy humans more than they enjoy dogs. They tend to be sociable and welcoming to strangers who approach them. There's even a joke that says that if a thief breaks into your home, your Westie is very likely to lick them to death. That pretty much tells you everything. Let me know if you enjoyed this video and if you want me to make a part two. And if you have any suggestions of other Westie traits that you'd like me to talk about, leave them in the comments. If this was interesting, make sure you hit the like button below, subscribe to our channel if you haven't already and share this video with your friends to spread the word. Thanks for watching, bye!